I'm Jeff Proctor, team principal of Honda Factory Off-Road Racing. Uh, we started this program about nine seasons ago uh, to launch the Honda Ridgeline for the auto division at American Honda. And then that quickly kind of morphed into uh, running their four-wheel Talon program as well. Uh, we've been doing the Talon program now for about three and a half seasons. And uh, it's been incredible to develop these race cars uh, since the inception of the, the Sport Talon uh, side by side. So. Uh, it's just uh, incredible to be here at this uh, motorsports park in Oklahoma and I uh, can't wait to tell you about this incredible machine. Yeah, let's start up front here with the, the Honda Talon race machine. Uh, these are Works, Factory Works uh, shocks. Uh, it's one of only two pairs in the world built exclusively for uh, this Talon race car. Uh, it's paired with a 77 inch uh, long travel uh, suspension arms up here in the front. Uh, it soaks up all the bumps that you can imagine uh, in some of the gnarliest terrain in the world. This, this car is incredibly comfortable to race in for very long uh, periods of time. Our driver stints are anywhere from eight to nine hours sometimes. And uh, during the Baja 1000, this car could be racing for an upwards of 24 to 30 hours straight. And it just really proves the durability and, and how incredible uh, these Honda Talon machines are. You know, let's talk about the chassis a little bit. We started with a Honda four seat chassis and you can see down here where we're actually using the, the chassis pan. And this is where the marker would be for the uh, B pillar that separates the front seat from the rear seat. Um, and then from this junction here, we do uh, for safety measures to meet um, any of the sanctioning body uh, requirements. Uh, it's a full race chassis from that junction up, but the base pan, all the pivot points, everything is a stock um, 1000X four-seater chassis. Um, in the cockpit here, uh, it's got the standard paddle shifting. Uh, we run a MoTeC system, so we do have data logging capabilities, so we can really know what's going on with our drivetrain. We can go back, we can analyze the data, and uh, just see you know, what you know what temperatures we're running at and where we can make improvements to uh, improve the durability of that and that data logging is really important to us as a race team. Typical ra uh, safe safety harnesses, six point harnesses. Uh, it's got uh, a halon system in it so if they do catch fire it's got three different uh, uh, suppression points uh, located throughout engine compartment uh, and the, uh, the cabin so really really safe race car as well. These are finned coolers, um, and this is for airflow. These fins uh, help to cool down our shocks when we're, you know, racing at race pace, and uh, we're, we're hitting whoops at 85 miles an hour. These shocks can heat up, and thankfully we've got these coolers here that can kind of help us uh, stay cool. We've relocated the stock uh, radiator on the on the Talon uh, to two brushless fan radiators in the back. And that just uh, keeps that front radiator out of trouble. If, uh, you know, in off-road racing, we might be nerfing the competition to get them to move and out of the way and overtake. And we just don't want to have anything up in, the, in the front that could obstruct uh, cooling or get possibly punctured uh, in the radiator. So that's why we do a, a race radio re relocate uh, out back. We've got Trinity uh, X-Pipe exhaust here. Um, this X-Pipe uh, kind of helps to create a little more back pressure uh, gives us about a, an advantage of about uh, probably three to four more horsepower with this uh, stage five exhaust system. This particular car, because it's a four seater, we're carrying a little bit more fuel on it. And this car is designed for uh, winning in Mexico. That's what this car was built for. As far as the drivetrain is considered, um, a lot of people ask us, you know, hey, what are you guys doing to the engine? And uh, a lot of people are surprised when I tell you we're running a bone stock drivetrain on this. So from front diff to drive shaft to engine and rear diff, bone stock. Uh, we have some racing and some speed secrets that we do with those components, but it's bone stock from a gearing standpoint and everything else. Um, and we do have a mild, mild tune on the ECU. This particular car is equipped with a stock air box uh, we have some redundancy in the air box, but it's a stock air box that then feeds into something you'd find on a John Deere, which is a dual stage um, Donaldson filter. Um, you can do a walk around here. Yeah, this car is 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 on the heavier side. It's it's set up for the long haul in Mexico, and that's what this car was designed and, and built for. These are off-the-shelf axles, Demon axles. 
he drives in automatic and then when he gets to a section and he wants a little bit more ours he's always playing back and forth between automatic and manual so when he needs manual he's in manual and typically what he'll do is he'll go from automatic to manual when he's in a silt section a deep silt section because he wants to get his r's up and keep up and he wants to be able to control his r's so he's he's on the paddles that way and then if he's in some sort of a hill climb situation he wants to keep his r's up he goes back into manual mode and then as soon as he clears that section he'll click back into automatic um, the way that the the dct uh is programmed it's it's perfect it's intuitive just like you guys have been experiencing this week and he loves the way that it shifts manually until he gets to silt or or some challenging challenging hill and then he goes to manual but the manual can be a little bit busy in a rough race course and a racing environment so that's why he kind of lessens the workload as a driver when he goes into to automatic. Thanks for uh, the time and uh, letting me uh, share with you a little bit about uh, these incredible Honda Talon race cars.